Welcome back inside the Lawler Events Center in Reno, Nevada, 82. New Mexico, 65 is the final. You're locked into the Lobo Basketball Post Game Show. It is time for our Delta Dental Coaches comments, brought to you by Delta Dental of New Mexico. Post game, we welcome in Lobo Associate Head Coach Chris Harriman. And, Harry, the Lobos were there in the second half with a chance tonight. I tell you what, it was Jordan Caroline three weeks ago. Cameron Oliver was right. spectacular there in the second half for Nevada. Yeah, both those bigs obviously really hurt us. Um, Carolyn, you know, he started the game with a bank three. Uh, he got hot early. We let him get a little bit too comfortable. Um, I, I was really disappointed, guys, with I thought there was a couple of key spots late in the game when we needed that one stop, and I felt like we got it, but yet didn't get the offensive rebound. Or we were right there where we needed to be. We made, a, you know, an unforced turnover. Um, that led to something easy for them. I think we obviously gave up too many threes. Um, probably made a mistake in trying to play a little bit too much zone. Um, you know, Oliver hit two pick and pops that really hurt us in the way they space the floor. Obviously, have a hell of a coach, and it makes it difficult to cover them. So we had to try and do some different things, and, and uh, unfortunately, not much of a work tonight. Yeah, notice you did go to that zone in the second half, and we talked about this kind of maybe a week ago. Uh, you like to come out out of timeouts and zones, but against a jump shooting team like Nevada, you know why would you stay in that zone? Because it's a, it's a good question. I, you know, in the first half, we were um, giving up 1.4 points per possession in man, and they were 0 for 11 possessions in zone. Um, I, it, kept, it kept us in the game, and, and in the second half, I thought we got in a situation to where they were running a middle screen pick and roll. And they make it really hard for you because their five men can pick and pop. We put different guys on him, still made it difficult. They bring essentially putting Marshall on the opposite side of the ball so you can't help out of him. So you're giving up threes regardless. So we gave up two threes in man. We tried to go zone and had some success and then gave up back-to-back -back threes in that. So, you know, sometimes you got to pick your poison. Sometimes you get a little bit fortunate. Um, and I thought defensive transition – you know, we're on our heels all night long. We turned the ball over too much, obviously, and, and um, they made some really nice plays. Looked like they were overplaying passing lanes against you offensively today significantly, and that was what created a lot of those runouts. Yeah, I agree, and, and I thought, you know, we were a little tentative early, which is disappointing. You know, I thought our guys were trying to um, be a little bit too unselfish instead of being forced. Jalen was a guy that was wide open and tried to make an extra play instead of just going ahead and, and making an easy play for himself. So... Um, not necessarily anything negative. I thought guys were just trying to make too many passes. Um, you know, they, they did a good job on Tim, and, and, you know, I think we probably tried to get the ball into him, and they brought traps, and when he kicked it out, we didn't have enough guys make plays tonight. Yeah, and I think that's true because, we, you know, New Mexico struggled with the long ball, um, and therefore it wasn't really taking that pressure off of Tim. So he couldn't get the touches, and when he did, the double, triple team would come to him. And there were times when I thought Harris could have taken some shots or maybe even Hunter uh, could have taken some shots. Uh, but that's kind of seems like that's kind of been the where New Mexico struggles and becomes one dimensional. Everyone's kind of saying, look, we shut down Tim Williams and let those guys shoot from the outside. Right, right. Yeah, a, a guy like Dan Kuyper has been shooting 48 percent from three. He goes over for six, oh, yeah. you know, uh, as an ex player, you know, you, you know, that happens sometimes. You know, you have really good looks. Sometimes the ball doesn't go in. Right. I'm not as much disappointed as that as I am. Our real inability to guide those guys in terms of giving them too many looks. I thought we just had a couple of plays where the urgency wasn't quite there that we've had in the past. And, uh, and hey, give them a lot of credit. They played really well. I thought you guys played on the rebounds. I mean, you look at the rebounds, you're 32 to 32. You out, you know, out off on the offensive end, you out rebounded them. You had right. 11. Right. Um, there, there, were some, there were some bright spots, but it seemed like offensively, New Mexico gets stagnant once they take away the inside game, the, the outside. And I, and I thought, again, they were being unselfish. Guys should look for their shots, have to be more aggressive. No question. And that's what Coach said to me half time. And you know, unfortunately, we had a couple of looks where we just, like we said, Jalen had a wide open shot, didn't take it, tried to reverse it to Elijah. Elijah turned it over. You know, we had 17 turnovers, which is not, in the last two games, we've had 17 combined in the last two games. So for us to have that many turnovers, that you can't win like that on the road. Um, we gave them 20 points. You know, off our turnovers, and that's really difficult. You're playing from behind, from behind the get-go. So, yeah, all in all, a, a disappointed. You know, we came in here playing really, really good ball, and um, I thought our guys were ready. I thought they were locked in. I thought Coach did a great job getting them ready. Um, just didn't go our way tonight. 
I was going to say this, too. I feel like they never really got a chance to settle into this game. I think a significant piece of this was that Jalen Harris was in early foul trouble and didn't get to play much as much as you'd like in the first half. And they got a, a third quick foul there at uh, the very the start of the second half. Yeah, he, he's what he ended up with. He played 19 minutes. It's not enough in terms of the way he's been playing. He can really get us going. He can you know, anchor us as far as doing a good job defensively and really push the ball in transition. So, again, you have those things. You need to play. You don't need to be perfect on the road, but you need to play really, really well. And, uh, you know, the, you don't have a whole lot of uh, room to make mistakes, and we made too many tonight on both ends of the floor. Um, gave up too many threes, obviously, and like I said, there was two or three possessions, and you guys know it, that were critical. We gave up an and one. Oliver got an offensive rebound in the zone when we got a stop. Had another opportunity where we gave up an offensive rebound. I didn't think we took any charges tonight, which is your, what you got to do against a team like them. All right, Harry, I know you guys are running to the airport. Thanks for coming out so quickly. Um, UNLV's coming up on the road, and, boy, you'd love to even that thing up one and one with the Rebels. Yeah, we got to regroup. You know, that's that's part of it. And, and like like I said, you know, you, you, you got to figure out, okay, we did a lot of things really well. We made some mistakes tonight. We got to correct those in a hurry and get ready to go out and play UNLV, who's playing really well right now. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, I appreciate it. Right. Okay. So, associate Head Coach Chris Harriman, Delta Dental Coach's comments brought to you by Delta Dental of New Mexico. Almost 400,000 New Mexicans covered by Delta Dental Plans. For more info, log on to deltadentalnm.com. Back on the postgame show after this, 82-65 Nevada wins. Lobo basketball from Learfield. Back at the Lawler Event Center on the campus of the University of Nevada at Reno. New Mexico falls, 82-65. Nevada beats the Lobos. You're locked into the Lobo basketball postgame show. The Lobos today with two Everguard Solar Slam dunks. That means $20 at $10 per dunk to Allface. Allface serves over 2,500 kids and their families every year. They teach them how to prevent abuse. They guide them as they recover from it. Help us give children back their childhood. Learn more by visiting allface.org. Subway sub of the game here this afternoon is Connor McDougal. McDougal comes off the bench and in 11 minutes delivers six points. He's perfect. One for one field goal shooting, four for four free throw shooting. He had three rebounds. Connor McDougal is your Subway sub of the game. Subway restaurants keep you going on and off the court. Stop in today. Subway, eat fresh. And remember, fans, that Bank of the West continues its commitment as the Lobo three-point basket sponsor. After every game, they donate to Special Olympics of New Mexico. And for more than 20 years, Bank of the West contributes, and they've done more than $100,000 for Special Olympics of New Mexico as part of their proud commitment to Lobo Athletics. We take time out. We come back on the Lobo Basketball Post Game Show from Reno after this. 82-65, Wolfpack over the Lobos. Lobo Basketball from Learfield. Basketball postgame show. New Mexico falls to the Wolfpack 82 to 65. Nevada uh, holds firm in its spot atop the Mountain West Conference. The Lobos dip to 13 and 9 and 6 and 4 in league. Nevada improves to 18 and 4 and 7 and 2 in conference play. Time for the combination of the game brought to you by State Farm Insurance. When you have the right combination, great things happen like this. The loose ball found Kuiper. Ahead comes Harris, behind the back, whip pass to T-Dub, and he lays it in. Jalen Harris with a stylish behind-the-back feed. Yeah, gorgeous pass. That is your State Farm Insurance combination of the game. Talk to an agent about combining your home and auto into a plan that's right for you. Here to help life go right, State Farm. Back with the PM Reliable Player of the Game after this. When we wrap it up from the Lawler Center, the Lobos fall, 82-65 to Nevada. Lobo basketball from Learfield. We are back to wrap it up on the Lobo Basketball Post Game Show live from Reno, where New Mexico has fallen to Nevada. 82 to 65 is the final score. It is time to select the PM Reliable Player of the Game, and he is none other than Lobo Power Forward, fifth year senior Tim Williams. The Lobo deficit is six. The Guac handling way out high against Fenner. EB catches on the elbow, feeds Tidub on the baseline for the two ham rip. Beautiful execution and the flush for Tim Williams. Tim Williams, your PM reliable player of the game. PM is here for you and all of New Mexico. Reliable people, reliable partner in our communities, reliable power. Nationally, PM consistently ranks among the best for keeping the lights on. Tim Williams, your PM. 
Reliable player of the game, Williams, 18 points, 8 of 12 field goal shooting. He was 2 for 4 from the foul line. He had 6 rebounds to lead his team in that category. Two of them offensive, 3 assists. Didn't turn it over once out of all those double teams. His 18 points tied for a team high. Tim Williams is the PNM reliable player of the game. Tim has been the guy that can be counted on from night to night for New Mexico, but we talked about it uh, in our open, Hunter, that uh, the Lobos needed to have one or two others step up today if they were going to win on the road at Nevada, and the open shots were there. New Mexico just didn't make them. Yeah, and we, and we thought, you know, Jordan Hunter off the bench would be able to knock down some threes. You know, between Jordan Hunter and Dane Kuyper, they were one for ten, and, and that's really where they struggled. You know, Guac came off the bench, and he knocked down some long twos, uh, at least one of them. And, but uh, that's really what the, the difference was there. And then, of course, their bigs, it wasn't so much what they did inside the paint. Their bigs, between the two of them, had 15 points, five threes. Those guys can stretch the floor. And um, I think that really was the difference uh, in this afternoon. And really, four of their five starters, Hunter, are all quality three-point shooters. Two of them bigs, two of them perimeter players. They all contributed, and they all knocked down multiple threes. Fenner, two for five. Marshall, three for seven. Those are the guards. The bigs you talked about. Oliver, three for five. Caroline, two for four. And just for good measure, Drew, who doesn't even shoot it very well, dropped one in uh, sort of as a, an exclamation point at the end of the game. But, yeah, there you go. Um, 48% from three for the game, 11 of 23. And then the big number, clearly, is the 17 Lobo turnovers. Coach Herman talked about it double the total that they'd had in each of the last two games. You have to combine the last two games to get to that number, yeah. uh, and those led to big-time opportunities in transition. Nevada scored 20 points off of those turnovers, and um, you can't yeah, win. yeah no. not against the top team in the league. And not on the road. I mean, that's, that, and that was really the difference there. Turnovers and not being able to shoot the ball from the outside, just uh, becoming one-dimensional offensively. And that's, you know, and it's been Tim. I mean, you know, Tim, we know he's going to get his. He's going to score. He's, he's been consistent. But the guys, when he passes out of that double, triple team, they've got to knock him down. And, and it just wasn't going, it wasn't going in today. Well, and the, the coaching staff, it's back to the drawing board, too, because you heard Coach Herman talk about it. When the Lobos were guarding man, they're able to work those, uh, those screens out front where they get pick and pops for a four or a five man. And in the, if the four or the five can jump out to the line uh, against your man-to-man, -man, which you've, you sort of hung your hat on while you won four in a row, you know you're going to run into Nevada if you want to win that conference tournament in March. So uh, well, you know, that's back to the drawing board. And, 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 I, and I can hear what he's saying. You pick your poison because with the man – uh, you know, the, the bigs can pick and pop. So now you, you fall back into the zone, and then Marshall starts knocking down. Are these other guys? So it's, it's, a tough, it's tough when your bigs are knocking down. And, and sometimes we ask ourselves, how come Tim doesn't? Tim Williams step out because he can knock down that three maybe uh, and give other teams fits like that. But it's tough when, you get, when you're playing against bigs that can stretch the floor and knock it down like they did today. All right, New Mexico next plays on the road in Vegas, February 1st. That's Wednesday of next week at UNLV, a chance to avenge a home loss against the Rebels. 9 p.m., mountain time tip-off, airtime 8.30 with the Bank of the West pregame show as the Lobos will look to get back in the win column against the Rebels on Wednesday night. All right, we'll see you in Vegas, Hunter. Safe trip next back, yeah. and uh, let's go get a dub at the Thomas and Mac. All right. All right. Uh, for Malik Taylor, my broadcast producer and engineer, my broadcast partner, Hunter Green, the Lobo legend, I am Robert Portnoy. Coming up in a few short moments, the overtime call-in show on our flagship station, 770 KKOB. Uh, it will be Scott Stigler taking your phone calls and talking Lobo basketball with you. New Mexico came in with a chance for first and riding a four-game winning streak. But the conference leader, Nevada, proved too much today. The Wolfpack secured their position atop the league with back-to-back -back wins for them when first place was on the line against Boise State and New Mexico this week. And the Lobos, now winners of four of five, will go on the road to take on UNLV on Wednesday next. Final score for the final time tonight from Lawler Center. Nevada 82, New Mexico 65. So long, everybody. You've been listening to Lobo Basketball from Learfield.